first up for today, we have Casty No Chet Cross Pads. struggling to deal with that old meat. Who cares why she's gone? That stuff was disgusting anyway. Oh, Chet. Speaking of all that, I wonder how Wooly Wooly's doing. That poor creature was seriously wounded. I would like to see if he healed properly. Yeah, me too. Let's pay him a visit. Okay, let's see if that massive door door is recovered or not. I think it's the first time I've been back to this town in a long time. Still only level 16. Bugs chirping, no birds singing. It's like the forest disappeared. It's eerie. What could be causing it? Let's press on, but carefully, Ochet. Yeah, it's gonna be dark out of its day or night, I suppose. Still says only level 16. This is the same music that's played a few times when we've encountered shadow monsters at night. Man, this thing makes me feel uncomfy. Okay. We need to find some weaknesses here. Mahina! Sorry. 
that if that makes sense. Did not like that. Okay, next turn I'll summon one of these guys. Let's summon glasses. Hoping the sin's weak at this point. Might need a healing item soon. If this doesn't kill. There we go. Now let's grab some food. And that takes care of that. Thank you, Ochet. I suspect that shadow may have some connection to the forest's unnatural condition. Trousseau's reign? If so, I can use my remaining medicine. Oh, Chet, fetch water. You got it, Ma. Hang in there, Wooly Uli. I'll save you. There. With some rest, he'll be good as new. Thanks. What did this to you? That shadow thing? I held the shadow at bay, using myself as a shield, so the other creatures could flee. And I will destroy the shadow sooner or later. You're a fighter, Wooly Uli. But you must be careful. Who knows what manner of thing that shadow might be. Yep, she's right. Leave this one to us. It went deeper into the woods. Let's follow its trail. Yeah, this definitely has to do of the shadow and there's definitely some connection with this shadow and the poison trousseau is using let me save the game
Chet? Oh, Chet, where are you? Uh, did we get separated? That's not ideal. I can't see where I'm going. There is nothing here for you. Nothing that shines. Shines? I suppose you're right. I have lost many. Not for lack of trying. I always did everything I could. But life can be a fragile thing. It slipped through my fingers. I'm sorry. There is comfort here. Come, joy. Who's there? Castie! There you are! Are you okay? Oh, Chet. How did you find me? <laughs> I followed your scent! Ugh. Not that unappetizing thing again. against hunting what I can't eat. But if it's to protect Casty, I can make an exception. Wait. I can't let you do all the protecting. I'll fight too. <laughs> now we're cooking. All right. Let's go, Ochet. I ask, you answer. Simple. Okay. Creeping shadow. I don't have any way to analyze you outside of Temenos. Let's try next. Makes sense. Okay. Ready? 
I can do Hick Heal. Take this. Oh dear. And I can do an analyze. Let's have a look. Okay, ice is helpful. To work. Actually, I might just do advanced magic on myself here. No kick. Take this. Next twice. What to do? Now. My turn. Okay. Wait. Oh, watch me. Let's do that surprise attack. Hit that damage cap. Actually, I could use the weight and power to go twice, yeah. Let's do that. As swift as a snake. I always forget about that. So first, I'll do an armor corrosive. You're open. What to do? Actually, I think that was already armor corroded, but... There's damage cap. Here we go. That's my quarry. And you're dead. Nice. Now let's grab some food. What's going on? Are we back where we came from? <laughs> yeah, that forest. I recognize the smell. Hmm. That place. What was it? That sensation. It felt as if life was slipping away from me. Thank you, Ochet. You're- Hey, I'll shout anytime. I don't want to lose my mama after all. Oh, Ochet. You were all safe then. They say, thanks for protecting the forest. <laughs> if anyone deserves thanks, it's these two. <gasps> what? What is it, Ochet? They say they're going to give us the most delicious treat in the forest! Well, we certainly wouldn't want to cause offense by declining. Huh? Ocha? Uh, must have been my imagination, I guess. <laughs> it's nothing. Okay, time for the final one. This is gonna involve uncovering some more secrets from the George.
you get that gem, Brody? I stole it. Isn't it beautiful? Thieving again? Were you a believer? You would have to face judgment for that. You sure are passionate about your job. Ouch. Something poked me. <laughs> That's what we call divine punishment. It was this broken mirror. Why was I holding on to this again? Murder? Just awful. Murder? Hmm. What now? Are you hoping to see something? I have a bad feeling about this. In your gut? You could say that. I trust a detective's gut to be more accurate than my own. This time, I pray it's wrong, though. Out of the way! This area is closed off! We'll be the ones investigating the incident! That was Alpati's, without a doubt. Yes. And after she finally flew from her cage... Who would do such a thing? Why would someone kill Alpati's? Now that I think about it... I must return to my clan to fulfill my mission. She mentioned fulfilling her mission. Yes, and she said she had to return to her clan. I wonder what that meant. In any case, we'll need more clues. Let's return to the scene of the crime. I couldn't agree more, Detective. By the way, I don't know if that was hard on record or not, but that was a, a sweet little weird sound when it transitioned from the mortal scene to the other scene. Alpatis' corpse was taken to that shed. Though there's a guard dog on duty. Hmm. It would be quite unfortunate were it to howl. Would you ensure that our hound neither barks nor bites, Throne? Are you asking me to do the dirty work? My specialty is making dogs speak, so... It's not easy working with detectives. Okay, make it night time. It will knock you out. Good night. Where day meets night. Alpatis. Hmm. Her clothes are stitched in an odd place. 
There's a slip of paper here. It says, the cavern of the moon and sun. It appears to be a map to a cave nearby. There's more written here. It's some sort of code. There must be something there. Her hands and feet were bound, but her mouth was left unfettered. She was likely interrogated, but was killed when she gave no answers. Do you think they were after this map? Perhaps she couldn't let anyone else have it, so she concealed it in her clothes. Of course, this is all mere speculation. If she was willing to give her life to hide this map, this might show the way to her clan. There's only one way to know for sure. Let us make for the cavern. Okay. I'm trying to remember if we've done this one or not. Thank you. I will say no to a hidden item. Now it's all the way over there. Thank you. That was very. I might as well grab it while I'm here, I suppose. Okay. This other hidden item is right up here. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and cut away until I reach this new area. No, I don't. I don't think I've been here before. I assume the right path is the correct one since it's lit up, so I'll take this one. There's nothing over here? <laughs> Let's play. These guys look chunky. Oh dear. Vagrant frog kids, okay. That's not really helpful, to be honest. I'm gonna try for sword weakness here. Okay. My turn. I figured it had to be a weapon that evil Ochet or Tem- not Ochet. Um, Thorne or Temenos would have since the area for both of them. Okay, why don't I use... Do I want to use my latent power here? No, wait, I can do... Yeah. Okay, we got this now. Ready? 
Spin him in again. I'm gonna save all my BP and SP for next turn here. Yes, I guess this pathway has nothing on it. Okay. That's interesting. What is this? I can't read it. <laughs> Let's play. Uh we'll do it munchkin dudes. Okay. These guys are kind of cute. Let's try sword again. Oh, one of them is weak to sword anyway. I might as well break you, I suppose. Ah. Oh. Misclicked. Okay. I guess I should do an analyze here. Ice, okay, unfortunate. I was thinking of using ice, but wanted to do the analyze just in case. Can't do glasses. A week to one other element and probably some physical attack. Triax. Nope, okay. Ice attack. Low, rigid wind. Uh, goodness, what a tantrum that was. Chest over there on the right. Okay, maybe it's a path down to the left here to get to it. Wow, it's dark in here. Mighty belt. What does that do for me? Okay. It's just a worse physical belt, I guess. That's kind of unfortunate.
God, it's so dark here. Is there even a path forward here? There it is. Definitely need some light in here. That's one new enemy. The Mark II, okay. Well, I can check both of them for sword weakness here. Okay, that works out. Fire. Burn Ready? I need to hit you twice. <laughs> to work. Fire. Burn Let's go. Uh, I might as well use my weight and power, I guess. Actually, no, I'll wait till next turn. I'll wait on that. Oh, Chero kill them all. Oh, we're capturing this one, I see. Okay. That is pretty strong. Multi shock is kind of nice, folks. It hits even twice. I'm really trying to prioritize skills that let me do multi hits here. I think I'm gonna pass. Now let's grab some food. There's nothing here. No one lays treasure where others can so easily find it. But everyone leaves a mark to remind themselves where they hid it. Huh. Where day meets night. We have to keep looking, no matter how many days and nights pass. No matter how many days and nights pass. Bravo, Throne. You're a wonderful assistant. Am I now? <laughs> it seems you're onto something, Detective. The truth lies in the flame. Now then, as one might guess from the name of the Cavern of the Moon and Sun, 
The key likely lies within night and day. Man, it's been so long since we've had one of these sequences. I missed how cool these were. I see. I see. Welcome back. Where day meets night. Both the sun and moon illuminate this stone. Oh, you certainly are clever, detective. Another slip of paper. Hope for the dawn. There's something else here, too. A fragment of a cloudy mirror. It looks like the other one. The one Apatis gave us. Fit perfectly. Huh. These fragments were once part of the same whole. But what is it? You truly are an excellent assistant, Throne. Thanks to you, Throne, I've finally remembered something. The origin of Alpatis' name. The Flamebringer Elfric left someone here in our realm to consort with humankind. Her name was Alpatis. She may be a descendant of the clan that shares the blood of the Flamebringer. Meaning, Alpatis was born of the gods? The scripture tells this story. After the death of Alpatis, her children were overcome with despair. Elfric then crafted a single mirror from her body and the warm light from the mirror relieved her clan of their sadness. Do you think this mirror could be? Alpatis' mission was to protect that mirror. But one mystery still remains. Why did she leave that mirror to us? A mystery indeed. If she hadn't been born a child of the gods, she may have been able to live a free life. She risked her life to protect this treasure. I'll take good care of this, Alpatis. The journey for the dawn. Okay. I don't see that on the map, but I assume. Oh no, I do see something on the map. I assume that's similar to um the original game. There's gonna be some kind of super boss here. So I'm probably going to hold off on that for now. 
there's plenty of side quests and other content to get through right now. I gotta get through the shipwreck. I gotta go rescue a child from the ravine. I know there's a cave over here I haven't explored yet. I know there's an area by the traverse I didn't go to. So I'm gonna check all those things out and I'm gonna do some side quests. I'll probably do side quests first just to break up these mini dungeons a bit. So I'll see you guys next time for those side quests.